Hi students, how are you? Okay, so today teacher will going to teach you all about unit 6 plants. Okay, so this is the unit 6. Huh? I hope you all uh, can give a full focus on the unit 6 because you should be giving you all mini activity after this yeah related to the unit eh? okay so let's we go explore more about the unit 6 eh? okay are you ready okay that's good i hear that you all say ready okay let's we move okay so at the end of the lesson eh? so maybe you can get okay <clears throat> can contrast and compare at least two or three plants as the same and the different characteristics such as type of winds type of root type of stem flowering and non-flowering and fruiting and non-fruiting plant from the activity okay before that teacher would like to explain you about the parts of a plant ah, you should know that what are the parts of a plant yes okay that's right okay here are the main parts of the plant and the basic needs of a plant yeah okay parts of a plant okay we're starting from you can you see the pink color yeah this is we call flower yes okay and the green color is a leaf and the brown that's a long one is a stem and the root is a root is always underground you cannot see eh, on the ground it should be always under the ground eh? that is the roots okay okay and the next is the basic needs eh, of the plant if let's say the plant lack one of the basic need also the plant cannot grow healthy okay let's see number one is sunlight number two is water and number three is air ah sunlight is very important water also very important and the air also very important you always must watering the plants okay because the plants will be grow healthily okay so these are the parts of a plant and the basic needs of the plant yeah okay you should know the parts of the plants okay okay let's we go to the next that is the what are the function ah function of parts of the plant let's say uh, in the human body myself a teacher hi okay teacher already teach you all in the unit four uh. okay you need mm, yeah you need four uh, human uh, human so the high uh, the high okay what is the function of the high to see ah this is a one of the function in the human body the part of the human body so same as that in the plants also same that is a flower after the function stem also have the function leaf also have the own function and the roots also have the own function okay let's we see that what is the function of the flower Okay, flower is contains the reproductive part of the plant and also produces seeds. That means, okay, the flower, inside the flower, they got honey or they got the seeds, anything, am I right? So, the plant, the seeds will be poly, pollinate. That means, uh, it will be out, yeah, out from the plant and getting a one more new plant will grow beside that yes this is we call the function of the plant okay let's say we move to the stem stem is the long one is to hold the plant up now hold the plant up it won't be shake it like this eyes will hold the plant up it won't be fall down chewing like that ah that is the one is that will be hold the plant okay and also it carries the water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves yes from the root at uh, the bottom go to the top of the up uh, all the parts of the plant that is the stem yeah so carry the water the nutrients from the bottom to top of the plant 
and the leaves very simple produce food for the plant okay and the last one is the roots roots is absorb absorb the water i can take the water i can take if i see the rain fall on ground this will be absorb the water and the nutrient from the soil and they keep it keep it yeah on the inside the root is keep it ah that is the function of the roots okay so these are the function of the flower stem leaves and roots okay i hope that you can understand okay the parts of the plants and the function parts of the plants okay that's good okay so let's we move to the next okay uh, this is so important lah, most important for you all plants around us okay let's explore the characteristics of plants okay characteristics okay every plant they have a different characteristics not same not same they have a different different characteristics and as we see that okay and the first characteristics is type of leaf vein yeah type of leaf vein okay this is number one is that this one we call parallel veins and this one we call is natter veins okay they have a two types that have a two types huh? at the one side is a parallel vein another side is a natter veins uh, you must know that you must remember that two type only two type either parallel or netted that's all okay next this is the type of a roots ah, and this side is taproot taproot is very long and sharp ah that is the taproot like carrot huh? look like carrot huh? okay and this side is the fibrous fibrous is because it's messy like a hair your hair ah fibrous is like your hair ah this is a fibrous root that have a two type also root that is a taproot and this side is a fibrous root okay eh? okay the next one flowering and non flowering yes some of the plants they have flower and some of the plants have no flower am i right okay for example uh, flowering you should look at uh, around your house huh? your mommy sure have a lot of plants am i right okay let's say hibiscus hibiscus is a flowering or non flowering sure they have flower am i right so the plant is flowering plant okay let's see the grass you know the grass the green color that only have the leaf okay can you see the flower in the grass no so it's me it's a non flowering yeah so that is the meaning of flowering non flowering flowering means they got flower non flowering means no flower yes that's correct so this is you can classify the plants into flowering plants and non flowering plants okay and the next one type of stem okay they have a two type of a stem that is a non woody stem okay this side you can see non woody stem and this side is a woody stem okay non woody stem is my name you can easily break it you can easily break it i can break teacher i can break the one for example grass also so same as the grass okay the grass you just take it and you can break it so easily am i right ah because it's a non woody stem non woody stem is very easy simply you can break it if a woody stem let's say i'm bringing you to the mango tree mango tree go to the mango tree can you break the mango tree stem Oh, I said die already, teacher. I cannot because it's a woody stem. This is when you tick, 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 tick. Ah, huh? they got a sound. They got a sound. That's why it's be called woody stem. The shrub will be in the brown color. The stem will be in the brown color. Woody stem. Huh? Okay. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, just now we have a C ready. That is the four different characteristics. Number one is type of uh wind uh type of root type of stem 
and also the type of flowering and non-flowering and one more is fruiting plant and non-fruiting plant fruiting means they got fruit you can eat that's non-fruiting means there's no fruit same huh? okay let's we look at here yeah. okay the next one different plants have the different characteristics all the plants have no same huh? different plants have the different characteristics okay let's we look at huh? Okay, I take one sample. Teacher explain to you all. Okay, okay, students, can you see this? Okay, what plant is this? Okay, this is a banana tree. Yes, that's correct. This is a banana tree. Okay, you can see very simple. Huh? Okay, this is a banana tree. So the banana tree, what? As a what type of wind leaf? Ah, leaf is that? Uh, the banana tree has a swing, just a one line, just a one line, so soft. That means it's a parallel with leaf. That's correct. Okay, the banana tree has non woody stem. Non woody stem means you easily cut it. You easily can cut the banana tree. Am I right? You just can take a knife, a sharp knife, and Pong like that, chop ready. Ah, that's the one because it's a non woody stem. Okay, the next one is a uh, number three banana tree has a fibrous root. Okay, one more thing, student, remember, yeah, you should remember this wherever the uh, the whoever the plants have the parallel winds, uh, sure, it has the fibrous root. Okay, you rem remember. P F P F P means parallel, F means fibrous. It's easy for you to remember. P F P F P F. Okay, let's say the um, plants have the parallel wind leaf, so that oh, the plant same plant has a fibrous root. Ah, okay, okay. Number four. Okay, banana tree is a fruity. Plant. Yes, it's a fruiting plant. That's correct. And also because you can see the fruit, are there yellow color? The fruit. Yes. Who like to eat the banana fruit? Yes, teacher like to eat the banana fruit. It's a very uh, healthy. Yeah, huh? it's a very a uh, give of uh, vitamin to your body. Yeah. Okay. And the last one, number five, banana tree is a flowering plant can you see sorry yeah it's a flowering plant can you see the flower at the uh, bottom of the fruit there red color yeah that's the one flowering plant yes yeah. so this is the, all the characteristics of the banana tree yeah okay and the next one okay this is the mango tree okay let's we look at the characteristics of the mango tree okay uh mango tree number one Okay, mango tree as the nectar wind leaf. Yeah. Okay, if you have a mango tree at uh, your house, huh? at your house or around your housing area somewhere, you can go in and check. Yeah. What type is the uh, wind? Huh? Leaf wind of the mango tree. Yeah. Okay. So number two is a mango tree as a woody stem. Can you break the mango tree or you can you easily cut the mango tree stem? Sure not. Because it's a woody stem. That's why. Okay. Number three. Mango tree as a tap root. Ah, just now teacher mentioned the banana tree. Okay, banana tree has a parallel wind leaf. Am I right? When the parallel wind leaf, sure is the root type is fibrous. If a natural wind leaf means the root type is tap root. Tap root. Ah, remember NT. 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 Ah, remember that. Natural wind means it's a big head and tap root. Yes. Okay. And the number four is mango tree is a fruiting plant. Yeah, that's correct. Can you see that the fruits huh, on the tree? Yes, that's correct. Fruiting plant. And the number five is mango tree is a flowering plant. If the tree has a fruit, means sure it be as the flower. Because after the flower, produce then only the fruit will be produced as in the final stage as sure be okay so mango tree is a flowery plant also okay so these are the five characteristics of the mango tree so now you know ready yeah what are the characteristics of the banana tree and also the mango tree okay now we let's we look what is the shape 
between these two trees okay mango tree and also the banana tree what is the same and what is the difference ah let's we look at that ah this is the most important you have to focus because this is your activity you will going to do later okay so this is the similarities ah uh, this is a mango tree and this is the banana tree what is the similarity just now teacher mentioned banana and the mango tree are flowering plant that's correct both are flowering plants yes and then number 2 banana and mango tree are fruity plant yes both are has a fruit that's the thing this is the similarity similarities meaning same same characteristics yes that's correct okay let's we look at the differences differences meaning this one different this one also different not same not same okay for example type of leaf we <clears throat> mango tree is a nested wind leaf and the banana tree is a parallel wind leaf okay type of root a mango tree is a tap root and a banana tree is a fibrous root type of a stem mango tree is a woody stem and banana tree is a non woody stem this is how the way you write the differences you can write in the table form is more easy for you huh? okay so these are the differences between mango tree and the banana tree and the similarities okay so this is the today lesson about the plants okay so is there any questions you can call teacher or message teacher okay before teacher and let's we sing a song okay 3 2 1 little brown seeds huh? little brown seeds so small and round are sleeping quietly underground down come the rain drop sprinkle 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 out comes the rainbow twinkle 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 little brown seeds way down below up through the Heard it grow, grow, grow. Little green leaves come one by one. They hold up their heads and look at the sun. Okay, so that is the for today lesson. Okay, thank you all students. Okay, that's all for our teacher for today lesson. If anything, you can contact teacher. Okay, bye bye. See you all. Bye.